love you. Now you really sound like mom. When I was a little girl, I thought there was a clock in my heart that it had these little hands. I wish someone had told me how easily those hands were broken, how quickly the clock would stop. I wouldn't have pretended I was invisible. I would have paid more attention to people, to time. I would have paid more attention to everything. If you think I'm going gently into that good night, then go fuck yourself. Ain't nothing gentle about this asshole. I thought silver bullets were meant for werewolves. What now? I'm thinking. How long's it been? About one bottle's worth. Top me up then, darling, will ya? Think he's gone? Guys, this is getting boring. What now? I'm thinking. I'm not convinced. Neither am I. Neither am I. Guys, should we stop fucking around now? Was she upset? I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think so. You know, Reggie's pretty stoic. Except she, she was upset about this boy at school. He'd, he'd had a bad accident. You're an idiot. Excuse me? Uh, not you. Me. Consistently inconsistent. Actually, I'm just the opposite. Well, either way, you always end up here. Would have been considerate if you'd left a note. I don't think you do that when you run away. Is that what this is? Like a blur. Not for me. What exactly are these annual maintenance fees used for, huh? I'm never coming back here again. Reggie, come on, it's your sister's grave. Except George isn't in it. I always knew that she was around. And yesterday, I met her. Really? Yeah. Except her name was Millie, and she's a grim reaper who works at Happy Time who takes people's souls before they die. So this is about the boy. Look, I have a picture. That isn't George. That's because it's Millie. You'd like her. She's nicer than George. Stop it. I'm not crazy! God, I can't stay here any longer. Do you think about fantasy cemeteries? 
You say in your book that the hardest part of grieving is letting go. This town is death for the both of us. I like you're having no nervous breakdown. I haven't in California.